I'm going to show you how simple it is to open a PDF in Silhouette Studio these days. Uh, this is version 3.6.057. Um, originally you could not open a PDF in Silhouette Studio, but uh, these days you can. So navigate to where you have your PDF, and I just drag it over into my workspace, and it will show a little pop-up uh, for PDF import. So I want it to import as a vector. That means it will have cut lines already. And I just leave it grouped and I leave it at the default 72 DPI. So click Import. And there it is. This is the PDF I wanted. Uh, and now, so PDFs are different depending on who created it, how they created it, where it's coming from, um, they all will be slightly different. So there's some things you need to watch for. Um, usually, first of all, I will go over to my cut settings window. And if I just have it in standard cut mode, then I can see where these cut lines are. And I want to ungroup everything. So I'm just going to right click and ungroup. Or I could use my ungroup button down here. I'm just going to take this text and group it again so it's not bothering me later, but I can still read it. These are just the steps I go through generally when I am working with something like a PDF. But I'm not sure what it's going to do. Okay, so next, while I'm still in the cut preview, I'm going to start dragging things around. So you see this one? There's two parts to it. And if you are in just a regular viewing mode, you can see one of them is actually invisible. It's there, but you can't see it. So like if I drag this, it's actually dragging the inside white that doesn't have a line color to it. So I just kind of start moving these things around and seeing if something comes apart. And on this one, it does. So what I want to do, I'm going to select everything again. I'm going to go to my line color window. I'm going to give everything a black line color. And I'm also going to change it to a zero line thickness because I know I want to cut it and I don't need it to show up. I'm not going to be printing it. So I would prefer a zero line thickness. Um, sometimes if you make your line thickness too big, the machine will do um, something similar to a double cut, which we don't generally want. Okay, so now I have all these pieces, and I'm going to go back to my preview to make sure I didn't miss anything, or I can just drag a box around to see if there's any floating artifacts, and there's not. Alright, so... I can actually delete some of this that I don't need. The hat, it tells me I just need one piece. So I'm going to delete the extra one and delete that I only need one piece. And the shoes, it says two pieces each, which is what I've got here. So that's great. I'm going to delete these words. I don't need them. And the mittens, four pieces. So I'm just going to select those and hit my control and arrow down key, which will just make me a nice duplicate. Okay, so I have all the pieces I need, and I am ready to cut this out of felt and or, or whatever material I want. You could cut it out of paper if it's just a PDF of something else. Um, this one, I'm going to cut it out of Camelot brand hard felt because I don't need any kind of interfacing and my blade cuts it on my Cameo just fine. Let's see, I gave myself a custom setting. There we go. Camelot hard felt. I used a blade on 10 and speed of 3, thickness 33, and I did not need a double cut for this. Um, I did use a nice sticky bat, a nice sticky mat 
and my dedicated fabric blade. So I just cut these out of felt so I could make my little pine cone elves. <laughs>